I had to run out to Kroger really quick because there was a few things that I needed to pick up that due to the Easter dinner um, the past weekend and just, you know, daily life, there was a few things that I had run out of, so I had to run out, and I thought I'd give you guys my small grocery haul. And it's small, very small, but, you know, I thought you guys may find a little bit of enjoyment out of it, but I'm going to start down here. You guys see Noelle, she just decided to come in. She's a little bit dirty on her belly, if I can find her here, on her belly right there. She needs a bath, so that's probably what's going to be happening sometime today. Um, anyway, we've got a case of water down here, as you guys can see, and then up here on the island, like I said, it's all on the island because it is such a small haul. So, right here, I've got some caffeine-free squirt pop soda, um, and we've got burners, and this one is ginger ale, and then over here, we've got some sun-kissed orange and then I've got some of my spring day blend coffee um, I did run out so I, I went and picked up some more I love this it's just got such a great flavor um, I grabbed some sausage links Jackson has really took to sausage links here lately so I picked him up a pack of those for breakfast before school or as a snack he will snack on them too Jackson also loves sushi. Um, it's not anything new. He just absolutely loves sushi. He has, always has for as you know, long as he's been old enough to eat it. Um, this is a crunchy California roll, and I believe that it has got imitation crab inside of it. Everything else um, is real, except for the crab is imitation. And then Will asked for some snow crab legs, so I picked some Surimi snow legs up. And then I am making eggs Benedict for dinner tonight. So I had everything except for the Canadian bacon. So I did pick that up. I had to pick up some more um, all beef hot dogs. Simply potatoes. Uh, tomorrow night's dinner is going to be a country ham dinner with hash browns, biscuits, eggs. You know, all of that good stuff. Uh, so I went ahead and picked up. Usually I will shred my own potatoes. But I thought, you know save myself some time and a little bit of uh, extra work and I just went ahead and picked up a bag of the shredded hash browns. Jackson loves these, especially the way that I season them. And then I do have the country ham here. Like I said, that is tomorrow night's dinner. We're going to be having a country ham um, and egg breakfast for dinner tomorrow night. I was out of butter, so I picked up my extra creamy butter, sea salt. Some smoked sausage that is for a stir fry recipe that I plan to do this weekend. We've got some uh, Happy Egg Company uh, free range brown eggs. I love these eggs. These um, have become a staple ever since eggs, you know, went through the roof on price. Uh, usually I would buy the Eggland's Best. I cannot afford the Eggland's Best. They're $7.99 for 12 eggs. And I'm not doing that. So, um, my family loves brown eggs. They have more of a richer taste to them. And um, so, that's what I buy. Which I'm gonna not be buying eggs here soon. We are gonna be uh, buying some, some um, laying hens and a rooster. And my husband is gonna be fixing me a coop outside. So we are gonna start having some more fresh eggs soon, hopefully. Back up here, we've got some cashews. Isaiah asked me to pick those up for him. This is a pine tar and oatmeal um, and sand heavy grit soap bar. Um, my husband picked this up for himself and our 19-year-old uh, son, Isaiah. I wanted to try these. I just come across these. These go down inside of, uh, I think, do not know for certain. But it says that it um, each circle cartridge can flavor the equivalent of 620 fully flavored bottled beverages. So I'm really excited to try these and I need all the energy I can get. So I got the energy one and it is strawberry watermelon. So I'll let you guys know how that goes. Once I try them, I have to pick up some more diapers. Um, two things of this uh, Clover Valley lactose free milk for Dominic. And now this did not come from Kroger, this comes from the Dollar General. Um, but it's hard to find 
a milk that he will drink because he is like um, lactose intolerant. We just come across this. We he's not always been. We're not sure where the allergy come from, but he um, can no longer have milk with lactose. So. I have to be careful about what milks that I do buy for him because there are some that he just won't drink because they've got too much of a sweet, um, kind of a hint of a taste. It's not really a complete sweet sugary taste, but it's like a hint of a sweetness and he will not drink that. So, um, also I went ahead and picked up a half a gallon of the Fairlife milk. This is the milk that I drink. It is uh, lactose free as well, as you guys can see down there. And Dominic really likes this as well. So um, he'll probably end up with more of that milk than I will. But that's it. That's that's all that was in this little grocery haul. Like I said, it was a very, very small little grocery haul. Um, I didn't need a whole lot, but I just needed a few things, especially for dinner. It's not like the Canadian bacon. And then for tomorrow night's dinner, the country ham dinner. So yeah, that's going to get it there. So um, I'm going to get all of this put away and then we will get on to something else. Hey y'all, welcome back, or welcome if you're new. So, I hadn't intended for the grocery haul to be the very first of this video, but it just kind of went that way, or else I would have had my introduction at the beginning, as you guys know. But, I had a couple of clips that kind of got, I don't know, eight. So, I wasn't able to put those um, before the grocery haul. So, I just went ahead and went with what I was able to get in order and the video is in order, just the first couple clips that I did have um, are not in the beginning of the video like they should have been, if that makes sense at all. Anyway, I'm glad y'all are here. Hi, how are you guys? Um, it's been kind of a little bit of a chaotic few days. Um, nothing serious or anything. It's just been crazy with the boys going back to school after spring break and after Easter and just, I feel like I've not had time to do anything. There's been appointment after appointment after appointment. So I'm just now getting around to getting a video and getting it up for you guys. Sorry about that. I just, there's never enough time in the day when you are a parent. Am I right? Anyway, um, we're just going to go ahead and get all these groceries put up and then we're going to move on to the next day. And... The next day, we're going to actually be doing dinner. It's the first time I'm actually able to pull the camera out. And the next day is supposed to be a country ham dinner. Well, the country ham part didn't happen. Everybody decided that they would have rather had sausage um, instead of the country ham. And usually, whenever something else is, um, you know, put out there as a choice, we will vote on it and go with majority. So, we voted on it, and Country Ham got put off for a couple of nights. So, because I'm not up for eating eggs two or three nights in a row, just, you know, don't want to get burnt out. So, we did the Country Ham breakfast, uh, the country ham breakfast dinner um, a few nights after the sausage um, breakfast dinner with the hash browns that you're getting ready to come along with me to cook. So, but before we get to cooking, we have got to do up these few little dishes that are here in the sink. There's not many. Doesn't take long. So, um, also I need my pan so that I can make sure that I, you know, can cook the sausage and stuff. So we're going to start out by getting everything washed, and then we're going to move on to um, getting the sausage thawed, getting it cooked, and getting the biscuits started. So let's just get on with it. La, 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 la.
So, as you all know, I had been watching The Walking Dead on Netflix. I had been binging it and finished it um, a couple weeks ago and started watching Fear of the Walking Dead on Hulu. And I gotta say, you know, I have not finished it yet. I am still watching it here and there, but it just is not as good as The Walking Dead. I don't know. It's my opinion. Somebody else may have a different opinion, you know, and that is totally fine. But because... Um, I'm just not into it as much as, you know, The Walking Dead. I wanted to find another show to watch. And so I started watching The 100 on Netflix. And, oh, my gosh, I'm almost finished. Um, I'm on the last season. Um, at the very beginning of the last season, I think I'm in, like, episode three. Oh, my gosh. I just, that is a wow TV show, I've got to say. Um, if you all know what I'm talking about because you all have seen it, then you know. But um, I am almost finished with it, as I'm saying. And that's why I'm turning around looking behind myself, um, doing the dishes there. I have my laptop set up on the island and was watching the 100. And so um, I've been doing that um, a little bit here lately. Not a whole lot. But I'll set the laptop up and just kind of have it turned on in the background and watch it as I clean. But um, like I said, I'm almost finished with it. So if anybody can give me any kind of ideas of another show to start watching once I finish the 100, let me know. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you all think I'm into, like, anything, really. Um, it just has to really catch my attention. It has to be, it doesn't necessarily have to be action or romance or a thriller. I like everything, really. Um, just, you know, if it catches my attention, I'll watch it. And, go from there with it. So, if anybody thinks that I may be interested in something that they've watched or are watching, let me know and I'll go check it out. Anyway, we're getting ready to start cooking here in just a second. I'm filling the sink up with some water um, and I am using warmer water. I know cold water is what they say to use to thaw um, meats and stuff, but I'm using warmer water because I'm really needing the sausage to thaw a little bit quicker. And um, my once my water does start running hot out of the faucet it does get very hot so i figured it would you know maybe thaw the sausage a little bit quicker and not cook it because we know the defrost in any microwave will almost cook it so i'm not doing the microwave um but this does this thaws it and it gets it thawed all the almost all the way through and um it gets it thawed good enough for me to slice it through get the sausage cooked and all that good stuff so once we get the dishes put up we're going to go ahead and um, get some sausage started. And if you hear that thumping and bouncing around, that's Dominic, of course. He's in here with me. And for those of you that don't know, Dominic is my three-year-old little boy. Um, so, <laughs> matter of fact, you'll probably see his arms here in just a minute. He comes in reaching his arms up to me. So, um, he's ready for me to go laying down for his nap. That's usually when he wants to be held. So, anyway, let's get on with it. Get these dishes put away and get to cooking. Cut sharp like a knife. Take a moment and look all around you I don't want you caught off guard or alone When I come for you, I need you to know that I would never walk away I know what you need, I would bleed for you But you're taking somebody home
sausage that I'm making is Jimmy Dean brand. And it's just the mild sausage, uh, regular sausage. Uh, nothing special about it or anything. But it doesn't seem to matter what kind of uh, pan that I use. It always wants to leave like black um, crumbs and it'll, you know, get a little like uh, black on the sides of it and stuff. And it's not being cooked for very long at all. But if it doesn't cook as long as it does, then it seems to stay a little pink in the middle. And I'm not about all of that with uh, any kind of pork. So um, I'm not sure if I'm the only one that deals with that problem when cooking Jimmy Dean sausage. Or, you know, maybe I'm just not doing something right. Um, but ever since I've known how to cook and have, you know, used this sausage, that's how it's always been. And it does make for great flavoring, don't get me wrong. And my family loves it, especially whenever I'm making breakfast and I cook the eggs in the grease that the sausage made. It just gives a flavor to the eggs. And that's what I'm doing here, actually. I'm just going ahead and frying the eggs in the uh, grease that is left behind by the sausage. And, you know, it doesn't make the eggs look pretty or anything, but it does give a really good flavor to it and I'm also going to leave what little bit is left which is not very much at all once the eggs um, are finished but I'm going to use the large skillet and what's left of the grease from the sausage um, and I'm going to fry the um, hash browns in that and that too gives it a really great flavor but when I make uh, hash browns I also flavor my hash browns uh, with seasonings as well I'm going to be using some garlic powder and onion powder and that's all that I use. That's it. That's all I'm pulling out of my little seasoning drawer there is uh, gun, uh, garlic and onion powder. So um, the, my whole family loves it. Jackson absolutely loves his hash browns made this way. And then I just fry it until it starts to turn, you know, a little bit crispy. And there you go. It's done. Put it on a plate. And there you go. Um, my family absolutely loves this meal. So... <laughs> But yeah, I hope I'm not the only one that has that issue with that sausage. Anyway, we're also coming to the end of the video. And um, I know we didn't do a whole lot of cleaning in this video. And I just wanted to bring you guys something a little bit different because my last several videos has been in the kitchen. I'm very well aware of that. And the next one will not be. I am doing a deep clean in the living room for you guys um, for some motivation there. But I thought it would just be fun to do, you know, this kind of video. So I really hope you guys liked it. And I think that's got it till next time. Love y'all. Stay safe.